Hi, I'm Steve, lead pastor here at Praise Assembly. I wanted to take a moment and talk with you about the speakers right here in our worship center. We have discovered that our speakers are at their end of life. They're not working as efficiently as they once did. This building was built in 2005. Upon building it, the speakers really were not up to par even at that point. We saved on budget by putting less quality in when it comes to the sound system here at Praise. Well, we had a team of professionals that have come into our church and they have looked at our speakers and they are in agreement that they really are at the end of life. We have a couple of choices here. We can continue to run the risk that we're gonna last as long as we can, or we're gonna upgrade. I've met with our pastors and our board, our office team, and we have decided that we would like to put a brand new sound system right here in this beautiful worship center. Now, you know, the sounds of worship are very, very important, and hearing the Bible is so important. We have learned over the last several decades, really, in this building, we have learned that there are a lot of places in this room that are very loud, and other places, well, there's almost a muffled sound. On any given Sunday, we have some people ask that we would turn it up, and then we even have some that ask, hey, would you turn it down? There's a reason for that. In this worship center, there are only two speakers. Our media team has done a fantastic job in trying to put the sound where it needs to be. But you know what? These speakers are just not wired to do that in a building this big. There are 1,300 seats in here, and for two speakers, that's quite a job. So here's what I want to bring to you today. I want to tell you that we're going to ask to partner with you on putting in an entire new sound system in here at Praise Assembly. It's going to cost us. It's going to cost a lot, but we're ready to take that challenge. It's going to cost about $300,000 for us to make that happen. With this new project and this new professional team that we are working with, we are going to bring not two, but 34 speakers. Now that may be kind of scary for some of you. You may think that sounds like it's going to be loud. My friend, it's not going to be loud. It's going to be clear and it's going to be clean. Our goal is to put the same amount of sound throughout the entirety of this worship center. In just a moment, I'm going to ask that you would join us, that you would partner with us, that you would come alongside of us as we take the gospel of Jesus into the ears and the hearts of God's people. Can I stop here and tell you that we already have people that do not even attend this church that have already begun to sow in because they truly believe that what God is doing in the city needs to be heard. I'm looking for 20 people that would give 5,000, 20 people that would give $2,500. We are looking for 20 people that would give $1,000, 20 people that would give $500. And for some of you, we are looking for 20 people that would simply give $100 to help us. I know that many of you listening to this, you can do far greater than the 5,000. And today I want to call on you and I want to ask you, will you help us? When it comes to helping us with this project, you know, there's really several ways that you can give. You can give in person uh, on any given Sunday. You can come by the office and you can drop it off. You can give online. You can even text to give. What's really important is that we understand that we're in this together. Let's make the sounds of praise sound so beautifully in the ears of God. We need your help. I want to thank you for being the kind of church that has always taken these projects and you've always worked right along with us. We've done it together. You know, through the years we have climbed so many mountains. There's another mountain in front of us right here. What do you say that we climb it? Let's climb it all for the glory of Jesus Christ.